Hey guys, I am currently on my way to St. Mary's Park here in the Bronx. Hey guys, I'm here with Merrill of Metal Detecting New York and we are actually going to Coney Island today. The ground is a bit too wet from the snow last night. We wanted to hit up St. Mary's Park, but unfortunately it wasn't going to happen. And so we figured the beach might be the best way uh, to spend our time metal detecting today. See you on the beach. Here at Coney Island, See, that's the Cyclone, the Wonder Wheel, the uh, Parachute Ride, and I just found my first coin of the day, it's a penny. And so I'll show you guys if I find anything uh, better than a penny today. It's like a little piece of junk jewelry that I just found. And I found it uh, sort of in front of the Wonder Wheel. But here you go, I found my first dime for today. So technically I am on the board. I don't count pennies as really being on the board. We have Meryl down there searching close by the water. He already found a, bit, a ring, uh, not a real ring. It was a surface find because he literally put down his detector. He went, he went to pick it up. <laughs> the ring was right there on the surface. But yeah, I just found a dime. So happy about that. So the next good signal here, and I'm sorry about the wind, it's very windy today, but it's a nickel. So, awesome. A dime, a nickel. Now all I need is a quarter, because that would have been uh, the trifecta, at least one of each type of coin. Found another dime. Uh, I'm going to have to clean this one up. The sand is a little bit hard uh, to get off of it. But 1983 dime, so. A nickel before, which I didn't record a nickel that I had just found but I did find this quarter just right now so now I have at least one of each type of coin we're gonna keep going it's still really early I'm sorry for the wind guys it's still really early uh, Merrill just did the the water area he didn't really find much he did find one uh, uh, key which I haven't found anything interesting like that yet except for that small jewelry piece but yeah one quarter let's keep going so I got my second quarter of the day there you go. I just popped up another Jefferson nickel. And let's see if we can get a year off this guy. It's kind of toasty. It looks like 2017. So this is my third quarter for the day. Another recent one. So yeah. Definitely on the board. It got over a dollar today, which is good. I just popped out another one. This one's from 2000. Cool. Lots of quarters. So it's been a while, but I got another quarter. There you go. Yeah, it's really windy. It's really cold. Uh, Merrill was saying, he's over there. Uh, he was saying maybe we can go uh, and try to salvage the day. See if we can't find some cool stuff over there. So uh, let's see what happens. I guess today's just a coin shooting kind of day because I just found uh, another quarter. I think this might be like my sixth or seventh one today. So yeah it's pretty good well just pulled out a dime not too interesting but you know it has a weird patina on it it's like pink right in front of his face it's weird quick surface find another quarter cool looks like i'm not gonna need a uh, quarters to do laundry anytime soon <laughs> hey guys we are here at see there's a boat behind me we came here after uh, it was a bus at Coney Island. There wasn't really anything uh, to find. And so we came here looking for interesting things. I've never been to this beach before, but it's full of glass. I'll show you if I find anything. Okay, so there is this boat out here. I just wanted to get a closer look to it. Um, I did find a few wheat pennies. Uh, nothing that crazy, nothing that crazy. This little bench is also uh, graffitied. It looks old, uh, but yeah. Yeah, let's check that out. People just, wow. Wow, that's really cool. That's kind of disgusting in there. <laughs> cool. I wonder what things were left and lost, you know? Hey guys, so we headed out today wanting to metal detect St. Mary's Park, but that didn't work out. It had snowed last night and it was really not really ideal weather conditions. Uh, to metal detect the park, we would have been disgustingly muddied up. We headed out towards Coney Island, where I found many coins, bottle caps, pull tabs, the normal types of things I do find in Coney Island. Uh, what you didn't really see in the video is that I then went to a different location. I'm not going to say what it is, but I'm going to show you what I found. Because we are planning on heading out again 
and I didn't separate those finds. I know which ones they are, but I didn't separate them from the Coney Island finds. So right now, uh, from the Coney Island hunt and the other secret location hunt, everything. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So due to going to Coney Island, we have a lot of bottle caps. And there's just so many different types. I'm gonna just going to spend them over and read some of them off. Corona... Uh, extra Corona Familiar, Stella Artois, Angry Orchard, Blue Moon, oh, Guinness, Guinness Extra Stout, I don't know what that is, probably Modelo, uh, not sure about this one, what that is, but just all different types, uh, we have Heineken, Coney Island Brewery, I really like their Mermaid Pilsner, very good stuff, uh, Bud Light, Mike's Hard Lemonade, literally, like, I, I dug up everything, um, that my detector was beeping for and I ended up with so many bottle caps I might do something with them. I might do like an artwork or something So I'm not gonna throw out those bottle caps. I'm gonna keep them around of pull tabs and aluminum foil and other types of screw caps These are, I am gonna throw out no a mystic cap. I'm gonna throw this out this battery uh, I did find that at Coney Island. I'm gonna throw it out and then we went to a, a different location That wasn't Coney Island. And I found these pieces these gears And they're pretty cool the way they they turned out. I like them. I like the way they look. Very steampunk. I might use the gears in some sort of artwork with the bottle caps or something like that. Um, but now for coins. But we're gonna go through everything really quickly. Seven quarters. So that's a dollar seventy-five. Already better than my last time. Awesome. Uh, three nickels is fifteen cents more. So that's a dollar ninety. I have five. Dimes, so that's two dollars and forty cents. But one of the dimes is special, and we'll we'll go over that in a second. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. So ten pennies, two dollars and fifty cents. About the first thing I want to talk about is when we left Coney Island and went to the other site. Uh, we we're finding lots of old, old, old things, and one of the old things I found was this. I know it's hard to tell what it is. Give me a second and try to focus. No, it's hard to tell. I know. But from here, it's pretty easy. This is my first Mercury Dime that I've ever found. And you can see it says, like, United States of America uh, Dime. And you can see the shape a little bit. Um, it was actually easier to discern when I put it uh, in water. It, it became more clear uh, the shape of uh, the god Mercury. But yeah, my first Mercury dime. Very happy about that. Down here, I have a bunch of pennies that are just too broken to use. Uh, this, I was not able to identify what this was. Part of me thinks it's a coin, but it feels like tin and it sounds like tin. It doesn't sound like any coin I have ever come in contact with. And then this button found this button as well very cool these two coins over here I have them to the side because I don't know if they're like normal pennies or if they're wheat pennies or something like that this one's just really beat up and this other one I mean I see Lincoln I don't see a year and the back is just so I'm, I'm not seeing either wheat penny features or Lincoln uh, like memorial features but we do have these five pennies that I want to show you guys and that's because that they're all wheat pennies I found five wheat pennies and the mercury dime today in that other location so me and Meryl uh, metal detecting New York we are going to go out again to this other location. We're going to do a longer dedicated video on it. Um, and I, you know, I really, really hope to find a lot more the next time we go. Uh, but for now, I'm going to keep all this, most of the stuff on the table, including the bottle caps. I'm, I'm going to try to keep them and use them for something useful. Probably some of the stuff over here I'll throw out, but like this... This stuff is pretty cool. I could use it um, in artwork. I found this, which I thought was like a buckle or like a strap maybe for a backpack. It does have some ornateness, as you can see. 
Uh, so I'm gonna keep this in the good pile of finds. And so, yeah. And thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Five wheat pennies, a mercury dime. That's, that's something. That's something. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.